Right now, we know thousands of people across this country are in need of a bone marrow transplant. In each personal story, finding the perfect match could save a life. A Canton family knows all too well the anxiety of waiting. News 5's Bob Jones reports they need three perfect matches. You gonna take a nap? Beautiful smiles, <laughs> playful laughs. Help. Two sisters, stuck in the mud, nearly inseparable. There's three-year-old Ava. Little blue. She's really smart. Um, she's already starting to read at three years old. And two-year-old Olivia. Mm -hmm. Olivia is a little spunkier. It's behind you, Liv. There it is. She's a little spicy. Two weeks ago, baby brother Landon joined the Langenhop family in their Canton home. He seems to be a good, calm baby, maybe take after Ava a little bit more, but we'll see. Mom Alicia and Dad John, naturally, are proud. They're such sweet girls and um, just perfect in every way except for this one unfortunate flaw with their bodies. From the time Ava was a baby, she had a lot of illnesses, ear infections, and colds. But this year, something more serious. She started getting infections every time she would fall and get a scrape. Doctors at Cincinnati Children's Hospital would diagnose her with a potentially fatal blood disorder. Leukocyte adhesion deficiency, type 1. It's extremely rare, and I guess we're both carriers. Ava needs a bone marrow transplant. Olivia was tested as a possible donor, but it turned out she has the same genetic disorder. We're kind of in shock, um, kind of feel like we're living somebody else's life. Like there's one kid, now now two of them. Alicia and John dealt with this devastating news while pregnant with Landon. And when he was born, we found out two days after he was born that he also has LAD1. Meaning all three of their children need transplants, perfect matches from donors, their best chance of survival. Why them mostly, like not us so much as them. They're, they're such perfect kids that um, they don't deserve it. Ava, Olivia and Landon are among 14,000 people in the U.S. waiting for a stem cell donor. In a given year, 10,000 people won't find one, even though there are 30 million people across the world on the donor registry. What's surprising to many people is that only 30% of patients will find a match within their household or within their family. Erica Sevilla is with Be The Match and stressed it's simple to get tested for the registry. Go online to request a kit, swab your cheeks and send it back. In most cases, those who match would not have to undergo surgery. 80% of the time resembles a blood donation or a plasma donation where blood is extracted through your arm in a non-surgical procedure. Oh, there's a frog, toads and muscles. For this family, missing work and mounting medical bills adds to the stress. As soon as we could find a match, um, then we could get the process started for them one at a time. And they continue to pray for news, matches that could save three siblings' lives. Even if it's not helping our children, there's tons of people out there that need a bone marrow transplant. Beep, beep, beep. In Canton, Bob Jones, the end. News 5. Did you like it?